Melody Festival in 2020. We are in Malmö for semi-final four of the contest. And with us now is Ellen Benedictson and Simon Perron performing the song Surface. Now, uh, Ellen is no stranger to the Eurovision uh, world because you have been here in this arena before in 2013. Tell us what you did. Yeah, um, uh, 2014. It was. <laughs> 14, <laughs> That's okay. Actually. Yeah. 13, I thought it was. Uh, okay. No, it's uh, 13. Well, I guess you're right. Actually, now I'm, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. 13, <laughs> I was here. Yeah, with mm -hmm. uh, um, L'Enfer and One. Then I did it 14 too with Songbird. Okay. Uh, okay. But yes. yeah, I guess mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it was super cool, and uh, um, I've heard that Malmo Arena is actually one of the best arenas. So. I feel okay. very comfortable mm -hmm. here. <laughs> It's very interesting. How did you get the gig as being a stand-in artist for the French song in that year? Um, well, I was uh, finishing uh, my high school years in a mm. uh, musical school here in Sweden, and uh, SVT came to our school and needed, uh, well, professional singers, um, good singers, uh, who were also willing and, um, you know, would want to... Uh, do something like this. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we all got to do um, auditions mm -hmm. for um, the spots, and then I got cho chosen from uh, for um, uh, yeah the the French song, mm -hmm. and then I. Then how, how easy was it for you to do the French song? Do you do you sing in French normally? I uh, know, but at the time actually I I did study French, mm -hmm. um, so I was pretty you know active still. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm as good in French in a word though. Okay. <laughs> Now Simon, um, yeah. you're coming out of the band Outrigger, yeah. which is a, a huge successful band uh, out of Sweden, mm -hmm. uh, metal metal music. So uh, tell us about the creation of of the band, and is still uh, actively singing with the band? Uh, so uh, we're not active in that sense right now because we're all doing so much different stuff. Mm -hmm. I work mainly as a songwriter and producer, okay. so I have a lot of writing uh, that's taking up a lot of my time. Uh, but we're still trying to get like a tour done or something mm -hmm. because we want to be out active. Um, but uh, we started out Trigger when I was 13, so I was pretty young when we started out. And um, yeah, we did a lot of years in the rehearsal studio and then we're out touring and did the, you know, the classical being a band, doing the struggle thing. And uh, then eventually we started uh, using YouTube as a platform for, for us. And we came up with an idea of doing a cover of, of a Melody Festival song. And um, the idea was basically doing a cover of the winning song in the Swedish Melody Festival then. And uh, we had the idea of actually recording the process of that and then do a cover version uh, in metal. So we did that for during 24 hours after the release. And then we put it out there and got some got some success from that. And then it, it just had the snowball effect sort of. And we started touring more intensely. And then mm -hmm. Melody Festival and came up with Echo and... All that, so. But uh, yeah, I have to come back to the, to the cover that you did. Yeah. It was Robin Sternberg's You. Exactly, yeah. Which actually was performed in this very same arena in Eurovision 2013. Oh. So there's the link between you both. Exactly. It's yeah. amazing, isn't yeah. it? And now you both are singing on that stage together. Yeah. Um, so how did you guys find each other to, to create this project? Um, <clears throat> well, we, didn't, we actually found each other for different reasons. Um, We both live here in Malmö, and um, Simon is a, a fantastic producer and songwriter. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we uh, we've kind of always known about each other, I guess. And I was working with some other um, producers in your studio, and then we got talking, and we were like, we should totally write together. Yeah. So we started writing um, for my project, um, and then and had a lot of fun, fun, and just like you know, vibed a bunch. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then I wrote so, uh, Surface um, with some other people, uh, mm -hmm. but we didn't really know who was going to sing it with me. So that was when I was like, hey, like, yeah. you should totally do it. And now you're here. Because I know that, you know, Simon is an excellent mm -hmm. uh, artist and, uh, and singer. So. Mm. so not only a metalist, basically. No. Um, yeah, you could be like Lordy singing Hard Rock Hallelujah. <laughs> exactly. No? Uh, so Eurovision, that's where you want to go to. That's the, the aim of the game yeah, at the sure. end when you win Melody Festival. And you would be going to Rotterdam mm -hmm. yeah. to be the musical ambassador of Sweden. That would be great. Uh, so yeah, what, what do you mean? What, what do you think about this? What would it mean for you? Well, I mean, these days are so intense. So like, 
it's so hard to even think of like that that's gonna be uh that that's gonna happen for anyone, kind of, because mm-hmm. uh, you're so focused on this one thing. But I mean, man, that would be so cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Representing Sweden would yeah. be really an honor. Such a, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. What for you is the best bit in Melody Festival, and why you take part in this? I would say that like, um, well, I would say like, you're if you have a good team, like we have an awesome team, and mm-hmm. I just like the vibe here, how everyone is just like so supportive and. Um, and we're creating this thing together. It's like you're a little baby, you know? Yeah. Uh, and 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 you're building, you know, you're rehearsing for weeks, building and building it up, and then the release. Mm. I mean, those endorphins that just are released Coming afterwards, out, yeah. that's yeah. giving also, birth, guys. You never, as an artist, you don't get the opportunity to sort of really get into the creative process this much mm-hmm. anywhere else yeah. because I mean writing writing songs is super creative and then you record them and that's super fun and then you release them and then that's that and then yeah. you do shows but this is like both of them combined you write the song you build the process then you do the performance how's, how's it gonna look how's it gonna feel what, what's the emotion we're playing with here and then you have to translate that to yourself and sort of Mm. put yourself mm. out there and and then look into the tiny details how do you actually do this mm. and, and how does it reflect to the audience and so you, you never get the chance to do such uh, uh, intense and uh, beautiful staging mm. in mm. any other no, yeah. case so I think that's the dream as an artist being able to really perfect Create and make make yeah. that feeling mm. as strong as you can and in this show you really can do that yeah. so mm. that's amazing so now, now you're performing it as, as a, together you were uh, as, a, as a solo artist and in, in before you also I think uh, without trigger too you, yeah. it was it was a was a group but was a you group. also sang a solo solo yeah yeah okay. I did yeah I started what, a little so what you what you prefer to do is sing as a soloist or more as a group I mean, I haven't really ever um, sung with anyone else like this, mm-hmm. but I've always, uh, I've always wanted um, partners in like uh, a close like partnership in the music industry, and I've, that's what I've been looking for for this whole time, and, mm-hmm. and that can be in different, you know, uh, constellations. Like, uh, just for example, like someone that you write with. Mm-hmm. That is like your you are a team and you write because I think it I don't know for me it's always been important to I don't I don't like uh, working too much on my own even if I'm very like focused and like all that I I always feel like you get more out of something if you have a close team mm-hmm. or one team member two team members, I don't know but something like that where you can like um, you know share ideas and like grow with Mm -hmm. so i i mean i've always kind of looked for that um and that's why i think it's so fun that we met and whatever happens after if if we write more stuff together like this we will definitely write together Mm. um and i think that's awesome Mm-hmm. So therefore, yeah, uh, and for you, that, that for uh, me, like I mean, the the perfect <laughs> constellation for me is like having one vision, sort of, because I love the band concept, but it can be really intense having five different wills and make that mm-hmm. work. Uh, so that's sort of the problematics of being a band. But the there's, I mean, just being by yourself is kind of the worst way of working because mm-hmm. you have no one to reflect your ideas with. So I prefer at least having like this one vision that either one or two or three or five whatever people share if you're able Mm. to do that and then uh, at least be a team of two at least Mm. because because i think that's that's when you're able to just push yourself and push your ideas and and think really creatively so yeah well that's that's really interesting to to find out about that um we haven't touched on the song really that much. Uh, tell us what is the song about. You were part of the writing process. Yeah. Did you also write some of the song? Nothing on, um, on this on this particular. We wrote another mm. song uh, mm. that we that we really loved, but uh, not for this one. I'm just being an artist, and I love that as well. Uh, you have to interpret it. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah. you are a big part of this yeah. whole thing. But yeah. the mother is is Ellen. So yeah. tell us uh, about uh, the, yeah. the song itself. Uh, I mean. Uh, I wrote it with a couple of other people and um, it was that kind of song that just like kind of unfold mm-hmm. itself uh, so it was very easy to write it um, it just came out uh, and we just found all these like parts and it just came together really fast mm-hmm. which is so uh, when that happens it's usually then there's something good there mm-hmm. uh, so that was really cool um,
And I would say that it's like, it's, uh, for me, I love um, the lyrics. I think it's such a, um, the message in the song is something that everyone can relate to. Uh, and it's a very uh, um, intimate and uh, like touching uh, subject. Okay. So it must have give uh, yeah it must have taken the animation from somewhere or uh, some moment that 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 you lived through your life to write this. So was that was that the case? I mean, I think we we wanted to um, we wanted to um, tell some kind of love story, but not make it too obvious that because this song mm -hmm. is mainly about relationships, I would say, and it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can also be a strong friendship mm -hmm. relationship or even like you know, um, the relationship we have to each other in the world and mm. how we don't like open up to each other and how we don't connect or talk mm. and stuff like that. Um, so we wanted it to be not this like ordinary cheesy, like, um, like that's not cheesy, but you know what I mean? Like this like yeah. very, like this is a couple. Mm. Cause I think that brings so much more out of the song. Um, so, I mean, for me personally, like I can totally relate to like, especially like long friendships that you've had where it's common that you come to maybe a point where like um, you've kind of grown uh, you know away from each other a little bit mm -hmm. and there's this like turning point where like you either have to talk it out or maybe you'll lose that friendship and there's this like sadness and it's like you know um, and uh, and I'm all I'm a person that like I need to speak my mind and I need mm -hmm. to and songs is, is the good way I mean, in doing that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're radiating really love on stage. I, mm. I, I can sense that in the rehearsal that mm. I saw. Um, would you collaborate a bit more together in the future? Writing yeah. music, material, singing? I would singing? love to work with Ellen. I definitely think that. Yeah. I mean, it kind of just hit me now, but like this was our first like real performance because last mm. uh, night I didn't sing because um, I'm a little... Yeah, cold yeah, bit, um, yeah. Uh, so this was like the first time we actually sang it mm. together together and <laughs> we wow. both got like so <laughs> emotional on stage mm. and just like cried our eyes yeah. though. Because it is like, it means so much to us. Uh, mm. And it was like... I mean, happy tears, like, mm. it went super well and we were so proud of it. Uh, yeah. But it just kind of hit me that, like, I kind of feel like, you know, we, we were close before, but mm. now we're, like, super close. And it, mm. It'll be super interesting to write something after this mm. experience. Yeah. My last question is for, for you calling the project Alan Benedictson and Simon Perron. Mm. Uh, what project name would you have picked rather than your names? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think we, I think we like uh, one of the strengths in this project is that we are two individual artists that yeah. come together with our own like separate um, expressions instead of being like, you know, yeah. like a a solid duo. Mm. Kind, yeah, kind of like. We're, uh, I think we're very interested in, in listening in the other one very much. Mm. Like during the entire process, we've been very much like. I'm interested in hearing her perspective and she's really interested in hearing my perspective and we sort of just developed this really nice way of just communicating with each other and, and giving each other the space we need both yeah. as creators sort of. Yeah. And I think like like you said, like having a band is I mean, sounds super cool. I've kinda always mm. wanted to be in a band, mm. but I can totally see how like there is five different wills that always has to like you yeah. know agree and it's even if it's not five people a duo is the same but yeah. if you're still individual artists and then do projects together sometimes mm. you have so much freedom of doing other things because mm. i mean there's so much out there and you want to do yeah. I mean, we all want to do everything we yeah. want to well, it's been a real pleasure to meet you, uh, both of you. I'm, I'm really amazed to meet the guy from Outrigger and of course <laughs> meet Alan who did the uh, Eurovision cover of 2013 for your project Surface or the best of luck in Melody Festival and, so and take that ticket to uh, Rotterdam. Yeah, yes. we hope so. First to Stockholm and then yes. Rotterdam. Yes. <laughs> Tusen Tag and Lukatil. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.